Hello YouTube, this is Asatsu5 and I got another review slash demo for you today. Um, this is uh, over the Bison Survival Pod. Um, Bison is a company that makes paracord um, accessories such as paracord bracelets and um, uh, these uh, survival pods. This is just a mini survival kit and uh, I wanted to see how practical it was. Uh, I'm not going to go out in the woods and camp with it. I want to demonstrate everything I need to demonstrate right here. Um, and um, hopefully we can see how practical it is. Uh, some of the stuff that's supposed to come with is two foot of 550 paracord, uh, a knife, um, uh, six inches of um, jute uh, tindal or jute twine tindal, uh, three inches of duct tape, and uh, a knife sheath and a key ring and uh, I saw this um, at Academy this was not on the shelf yet but I'm assuming that we're going to start carrying them and I went ahead and uh, picked some up because it was already in our system you can also find these online you can search uh, survival pod or bison design survival pod and go on the bison website and it's going to cost you around fifteen dollars which you know it's kind of expensive but to me it was worth testing out just for my own curiosity and I'm going to share the experience with you uh, first off I want to see if you can open this up without a knife uh, because I'm assuming that this is supposed to be a um, you know a survival kit that you'll not you don't have a knife you're using this in a survival situation as your own personal knife and we're going to assume that you're not carrying one so let's see if I can get this open and it's not really working too well here we go I have now starting to unravel it. I must say this is a, a little bit easier than unraveling a, a cobra stitch, or at least my brother's cobra stitch, which is very tight. And I know this isn't necessarily interesting watching me unravel this, but um, let's see. Yeah, it's coming together. Or it's, it's coming undone. So I have proven my first point that I wanted to, or my first question, rather, can this be undone without a knife? And the answer is yes. So if you're in a situation and you lose your knife, you can get to the knife that's inside of here uh, relatively easily. It's, um, it's going to be a little bit difficult if you don't have fingernails. Um, but um, you can get to it. And if you don't want to watch me do this all the way, which I'm almost finished, you can skip ahead um, through the video and watch the actual testing. But this is one of the tests that I wanted to perform is how easy it is to um, undo. Alright. There's... It looks like it's wrapped in duct tape.
I guess in a survival situation you have all the time in the world, but this makes for a pretty dull video trying to take this apart. It's kind of difficult. I'd say if you're in a real survival situation, it was getting dark quick or it was real cold and you were losing dexterity in your hands, that this would be almost impossible. In fact, I might cheat a little bit. Let's see, but I want to get this off without cheating. There we go. All right, so here it is. There's the jute twine. And here is the knife and ferrocium rod. Okay, this is going to be the test. This is the knife. Got some jimping up here. It's really not a good way to hold it because you have no real... You can put your thumb right here, but you really don't have anything to hang on to but this loop for um, as far as holding the knife is concerned. I'm going to get a piece of paper, do a paper cut test. And as you can see, it didn't do so well, not doing well at all. Can hardly call that a knife. Next task, going to try to carve some wood with it. I'd say, ugh. If you are depending on this to save your life, I'd say you're probably screwed. <laughs> I mean, really, it's, it's barely taking off any uh, chunks at all. It doesn't feel that sharp. Let's see how he walks with this fair seam rod. I'm trying to do this without knocking it off of my camera. There we go. So there it is. <laughs> Let's see if using the jimped sidewalk spittle. Okay, this is my observation. Um, this knife, if you can even call it that, is probably only going to be used as a, a flint striker. And it's not the best flint strike in the world. Um, but if you do buy this, and I'm not going to recommend it as a viable survival kit. I think you can get a better survival kit <laughs> for uh, um, about the same amount of money. But if you did decide to buy this just to use as a zipple pull on maybe um, your backpack or any pack or anything that has a zipple, I would say this is probably going to be relegated to being used as a flint striker only and not as an actual cutting tool. So those, this it won't substitute an actual legitimate knife. So if um, you do plan on getting this, plan on carrying a knife with you because a knife is an indispensable tool and this is not going to function as such. Let's see if it actually will cut paracord. Ow. <laughs> See right there how it's kind of notched like you have a little point right there? That just stuck me. I'm not bleeding, but it was not comfortable either. But yeah, let's try this paracord again. It 
so can't even cut paracord with it I, and I'm really trying um, anyways I want to go ahead and say this will not replace your lucky rabbit's foot for survival uh, and the, um, the knife can strike flint not very well uh, you do get um, two foot of paracord and you do get jute twine and um, flint and duct tape what can you do with three inches of duct tape I asked my brother this after I bought this uh, if you're in a survival situation how could you use three inches of duct tape well I think it's flammable and I also you can also use it as a bandage to close a wound but other than that I really can't think of any other reason to use or bring along only three inches of duct tape it's hard to MacGyver anything with just three inches but um, I wanted to show this product off um, and um, test it for myself I had no idea how I was going to perform before I turned the uh, camera on I was pleased to see that you could unravel it with no tools um, you can unravel the um, paracord and you can undo the um, duct tape but uh, for 15 bucks I really think it's kind of a ripoff um, you get stuff with it but um, to me you can make a better survival kit, a better mini survival kit for the same amount of money and um, although I recommend you spend a good amount of money on a knife that you plan to survive with or go camping with um, you can still get a, a, a um, decent camp knife for a, a decent amount of money you know that's you know not too expensive not too cheap you can, there's a good medium there uh, so I'm gonna say that this was a fail um, they sell paracord brace bracelets and I think they might sell paracord um, uh, belts as well and um, the bracelets is a single cobra stitch for 10 bucks uh, I don't know if you're interested in that they're very um, the bracelets are fairly easy to um, uh, braid yourself so um, it's a lot cheaper to braid it yourself but for people who just don't want to spend the time and money on uh, braiding one themselves they can buy it for 10 bucks and um, that's it sorry for the boring video but I wanted to test this out and I've learned quite a bit from this uh, little demonstration video hope y'all did too and I hope y'all have a great day I'm Asatsi5 and I'm out